Unit Nine. Lesson One, Page Forty Two. Exercise One. Listen and read. The one. Kangaroo. Two. Panda. Three. Bat. Four. Lion. Five. Penguin. Six. Dolphin. Seven. Snail. Eight. Parrot. And say the words. One. Kangaroo. Two. Panda. Three. Bat. Four. Lion. Five. Penguin. Six. Dolphin. Seven. Snail. Eight. Parrot. Unit nine. Lesson two. Page forty six. Exercise two. Read and listen to a fable by Aesop. Why was the tree angry? The Travelers and the Tree by Aesop. Once there was a very big old tree in a hot, dry land. It had lived for many years. Its trunk was very wide, and it had many green branches. It was famous because it was the only tree where it lived, and it gave shelter and rest to hundreds of travelers as they moved across the country. It was near four towns and many villages in its area, and was a meeting point for traders. One day, two travelers. Who were new to the area, were walking across the field and saw the tree. It was a very hot, dry day, and one of them said, "Let's stop under that tree, where there's some shade." That's a very good idea," said his friend. They rested under the tree and drank some water. They then enjoyed the shade and the cool breeze. As they were exhausted, they soon fell asleep. When they woke up, one of the travelers felt hungry. Neither of them had any food in their bags, so they looked up at the branches of the tree. This tree is useless. One of them said, "It has no food for us. There are no nuts or fruit on its branches. But it has shade, and it's keeping us cool." Said the other. But the tree heard the first traveler's words, and it was angry. "How can you be so ungrateful?" it said. You came to me feeling hot and tired. I gave you a cool, comfortable place to sleep, and I probably saved your life. Look, there is no other cool place to sleep near here. The travelers looked around them, and saw the tree was correct, and felt very sorry. 
Unit 9. Lesson 3. Page 49. Exercise 3. Read and listen. Where does our water come from? Rain falls from clouds in the sky. Some rainwater goes straight into the ground. But a lot of it goes into streams, rivers, lakes, and then the ocean. This process is called precipitation. Some of the rainwater changes. The sun warms it and it becomes water vapor. This process is called evaporation. We cannot see or smell the water vapor and it doesn't stay on the ground. It rises in the air and, as it gets cooler high up in the sky, it changes back into water and forms clouds. As the clouds become bigger, the water in them gets heavier. When the water in the clouds gets heavier, it falls to the ground and the cycle starts again. Unit 9 Lesson 3 Page 50 Exercise 1 Read and listen. Who are the people in the photos? Lots of different people played important roles in ancient Egyptian society. The person in charge was the pharaoh. The pharaoh needed lots of people to help him. He worked closely with nobles, and they looked after different things. The nobles collected taxes and organized soldiers. Soldiers were busy keeping Egypt safe. As Egypt was such an important and very rich country, the soldiers guarded the kingdom. The army was strong, and the soldiers were good at their jobs. Scribes were very important because they were usually the only people who could read and write. They trained for about 12 years before they wrote on papyrus. They wrote many different things like letters, records, and important papers. Without the scribes, we would know almost nothing about ancient Egypt today. Traders were the people who bought and sold everything in ancient Egyptian society. Food, clothes, jewelry, soldiers' uniforms, ships, and materials for building. Artisans took the materials from the traders and made them into things for people to use, like furniture, chariots, and clothes. Farmers produced the food that was eaten by the pharaoh, the nobles, the soldiers, the scribes, the traders, and the artisans. Unit 9 Lesson 4 Page 52 Exercise 1 Listen and repeat the words. 1. Teacher 2. Reader 3. Climber 4. Footballer 5. Farmer 6. Traveler. 
Unit Nine. Lesson Four. Page Fifty Four. Exercise One. Listen and repeat. One. Vet. Two. Wheel. Three. West. Four. Violin. Five. Whale. Six. Vest. Seven. Watermelon. Eight. Volcano. Nine. Wet. Unit nine. Lesson four. Page fifty five. Exercise two. Listen and circle the word you hear. Then listen again and check. One. West. Two. Whale. Three. Vase. Four. Vet. Five. Volcano. Six. Winter. Unit nine. Lesson four. Page fifty five. Exercise four. Listen and write. Then listen again and check. Last Wednesday, I decided to travel west in my boat wearing my vest. I was looking for a volcano, but I had some problems. I met some whales, and they turned over my boat. I had to sit on my violin to stay afloat. I ate watermelon to stay healthy, and I came to shore. I didn't find the volcano. But I met some vets, and they took me home to my village. Unit nine. Lesson four. Page fifty-five. Exercise five. Listen and repeat the tongue twister. Can you say it quickly? Walid made vases on very wet wheels for vets.